Kids Clubhouse Craft Corner with Jen from the Blue Mountains Public Library. Happy Tuesday and I hope you're all having a wonderful week so far. We're already on week eight of the session. It is just zipping past us, isn't it? This week's theme is Dr. Seuss. We are celebrating his books, his writing style, his illustrations in his books, the characters. I mean, who doesn't love Dr. Seuss? So fun to read. So our activity is we're gonna be making our very own little fish bowl. So I'll get to that in one second. So your activity book, all about Seuss. You'll have your word mazes, your, uh, your word searches, your mazes, rhyming and matching games, um, a celebration of growing up. This is a super cute uh, page. You know, you can write about and draw about all the places and things you want to do as you grow and become older. How much fun is that? And then the last page is always the Kids Clubhouse Craft Corner page. And we have our super, super fun bookmarks. And it's cat tricks. In the cat in the hat, the cat in the hat can do lots of tricks. Can you do them too? So there's a bunch of tricks that the cat in the hat does throughout the book. So can you make your, can you make your mouth make popping sounds like this? Can you curl your tongue? I cannot do that. Can you whistle? Can you wiggle your nose? Can you recite the alphabet backwards? If you can do that, you let me know. Can you bark like a dog? <laughs> and can you do 10 jumping jacks? And can you touch your toes without bending your knees? So some pretty fun activities that you guys can try out at home. So, fishbowl. What you guys are going to need from home will be a ruler, some white glue or a glue stick, I have some goldfish crackers that I actually glued onto my fish bowl and it worked just fine with the glue stick. Okay, so scissors, glue, um, a pencil, a ruler, some scissors. And if you have any supplies at home that you would want to use for the craft, you're always more than welcome to use them and grab them. I always just do this as a guideline. You guys get as creative as you want. In the booklet for the fish bowl craft, um, it's painted. I didn't know if all of you guys have blue paint at home, so I popped in some um, blue tissue paper that you can use as water. If you have paint and you'd rather use the paint, or if you have crayons, whatever you'd like, you make it the way you want to see it. Okay, so you guys run off, grab your supplies, and we'll meet right back here for the very first steps. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly go through what you get in your kit for the craft. So you'll have an under the sea cutout that you can use, some blue tissue paper, there's some goldfish, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use those as well. And then you have your paper plate. So from home, you will need glue, ruler, pencil, and scissors. So you guys grab your supplies that you need from home and we'll meet right back here and we'll be on to our first step together. All right, so step number one, we're gonna take our paper plate, our pencil and our ruler. And I know it's kind of tricky to draw a line on the plate, so here we go. We're gonna be doing some cutting of the plate. So you may need an adult to help you with this just because it is a bit tricky. So there's my line. Grab your scissors. And we're gonna cut. Okay, so we're about halfway through, so now I'm gonna start on this side. There we go. And I'm just 
just going to trim it a little bit. All right, so we have the top off of our paper plate. So we're going to set this piece aside for right now. Our next step, we're going to take our blue tissue paper and we're going to lay it on the inside of our plate because this is going to be the what makes our fish tank look, look like it has water in it. So we're going to take our pencil again and we're going to very lightly outside edge of the plate. Fold your piece in half. It's a super handy tip. Take your scissors and follow your circle line. Okay, let's set that piece aside now. So you can either cut that piece off there or when you're ready to glue down, you can glue it down. Okay, so you guys get that part done and then we're going to meet right back for step number three. Okay, so step three, we're going to take our under the C um, cutouts and we are going to cut whichever ones we want to use and then um, once we're we got all of our images cut out that we're gonna be using for a fishbowl. We'll meet right back here because then we're ready to glue our under the sea creatures down into our fishbowl. All right, friends, so I've got my under the sea creatures cut out that I want to use. And I always like to remind you guys that, you know, um, I always just try to provide things in the kit that you can use just in case you don't have things like paint at home. And if you don't want to use the blue tissue paper as your backdrop, and if you have some blue paint, paint your plate blue. You can give it some white swirls for waves. You can get as creative as you want. These videos are just here as um, like as a guiding video and, you know, just to let you know that there are options just in case you don't have all the supplies at home. So we are going to glue down our tissue paper. I'm going to use a glue stick. So I'm actually going to put the glue down on the paper plate. Because if I try to put it onto the tissue paper, it will probably tear it. Them back here to hold this part down just as so and then I'm going to take my ocean grass that I cut out put it on there my seahorse that I cut out And the thing with Dr. Seuss is his characters are always so funny. So there we go. So we have those guys. Now to make it 3D, we're going to grab our goldfish. You may have to be pretty generous with the glue here with these guys. I'm not even sure the glue stick will work. If you have white glue, you can use your white glue. Maybe we'll have one swimming down here. And last one. I'm going to put them kind of behind the wreath here. Okay, so there's that. And then this is going to be the base of your fish bowl. 
I think it looks much better like that. So this is where you take your glue, run it along the bottom. And if you want to paint, like I said, if you have paint at home or if you want to have some nice markers at home, you can color the bottom of the boat, um, like the stand. Brown. And there you have it. Your super cool, super fun 3D fishbowl. And there you have it, friends. Your very own Dr. Seuss themed fishbowl. You even have some 3D fish, the goldfish um, that we've provided for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys had lots of fun making this craft. Um, and I can't wait to see you guys again all next week for some more Kids Craft Corner. Until then, remember, try out all of these activities, have lots of fun, and I'll see you next Tuesday for 4.30. Bye for now.